the format of the robot. Username 666, also known as SM666 on Nico Nico Daga, is a video story by Nana825763. It shows what happens when one searches for the username 666 on YouTube, and then refreshes the page a few times. This story has actually created a few rumors, one of which is that the original 666 account contained a virus that changed all text into sixes. Due to the popularity of the video, Nana825763 created a sequel, called, Another YouTube. There is a similar video to username 666 called, None, in lowercase, whose, now colored, footage appears to be the corrupted account near the end. There is an exploitable clone of Nana825763's username 666. It's a clone, it works, but sometimes contains creepy viruses. If you are willing to take the risk of letting it into your system, that's fine. But it messes up computers. Just be careful, sometimes it affects other pages too. YouTube is a remembered piece of history. Back then in 2006, not much was known, and all that you can see in the community were just people uploading cat videos. But one particular user has caused enough controversy to be called. The channel, had posted a ton of gore porn and blood fetish, that the user was recently removed for playing with the terms of service. But, it can still be accessed. One day, a person on YouTube has posted their experience with the channel from a defunct blogging website. I worked for YouTube during 2006. I was a busy worker, and I recently upload videos here. What I didn't know that some of the YouTube moderators suspended a YouTube account. I told them what it was, but they wouldn't want me to. I was wondering why I wasn't allowed to go on that page, rather than what it was. But just then, one of the moderators handed me a piece of paper with the writing on it. It was a link. He pleaded me not to ask us about the secret username ever again. The link was a YouTube user link. It said, www.youtube.com, forward slash, 666. I went home after work, and typed it on my computer. I found out that the account was suspended, so it's no worry. But, when I refreshed the pages several times, some things changed. All of the video tags turned into the letters X666, and every single text in the screen said 666. I thought someone was hacking my computer, but I denied it and then refreshed it. Just then, a channel popped up. It was 666's channel. I looked at some of the videos, most of them were crazy. One video contained four babies twisting their heads. Another video showed swirled graphics. I decided to get off the video and went to another one, but a blank pop-pop was shown. I clicked the blank button, and it took me to another video by 666. The video was shown a woman drowning in a blood pool, and disgusting things happening. I thought this was disgusting, so I decided to pause the video. It didn't let me, because it wasn't responding. I decided then to close Internet Explorer, but it wouldn't budge. I also tried to go to another video too, but it didn't work either. I thought there was no way out, until I thought. The shutdown button, of course. I decided to shut down my computer, so that the virus wouldn't get through my computer again, but the button wouldn't work. Shut down buttons respond all the time. I knew that I was hacked. All hope was lost. I couldn't get out of Explorer, and the video kept going on and on. And there was nothing to stop me. The girl in the video kept staring at me, looking at me with random sounds and beatings playing. Just then, the woman's hand popped out of the video, and crashed my Internet Explorer. After a few days, I was recently fired, after going through that horrid experience with 666's channel. That's when I thought of this. Could this actually been made by the devil? Was it a joke to scare YouTubers? Either way, this myth was very mysterious. I haven't gone through sleep after watching those videos. I wonder who made them. This blogspot was then defunct after two days, when the blog was done. When anyone enters the blog, a message would pop up saying, Removed by admin, error code 666. The blogger has sent me his experience by email, asking me to post this on this website. He also left a note. Never go nor refresh username 666. 
Once you have finished, it will never stop. It won't come out. I hope no one has ever tried this. So you think you have seen the last of 666 right? Wrong. It seems the 2010 to 2012 username 666 has been found, and so far it does not sound fake, nor is it made by Nana. Not much information is known therefore, we will share what we have seen on this recent discovery, in a list format for temporary layout. Username, suspended 666 account. Created by, unknown, no chance it could be Nana again. Fake. So far, no not any chance. Date created, October 2nd, 2010. The pattern was formed but decoded to show that each year, that passes the creation date changes, and when October 2nd hits, it says created in 2011, and then now says created in 2012. Recent incidents. None to share, 